there she is. She's lovely. From American Idol, making the tour. Dee Dee Banami. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Was that painful when Ryan mispronounced your name? Oh, no, you know, everybody mispronounces my name. It's whatever. I just, it's just funny because he made it sound like a sandwich. <laughs> I was like, Didi Panini or Benini or something, or like Bellini. I'm like, it's not a drink and it's not a sandwich. My name. <laughs> but no, I'm so used to it at this point. I kind of chuckle when they do it. I'm like, whatever. And I don't even think I noticed when he said it until I watched one of my performances back. And he's like, I mean, huh? <laughs> what did you say, Ryan? Do they already have you getting ready for the tour, or do they wait until the show's over? Are they have given you anything to start working on? No, I mean, we already picked our songs, so um, I've been working on the songs that I'm going to be doing for tour. Are you cool with where you ended up? I wanted, you know, to make it to the tour, regardless of, you know, where I got. I would have loved to have gotten further, you know, I would have loved to have gotten to, like, fifth or sixth, but at the same time, I'm extremely blessed and grateful to got, you know, to get to where I did. I, you know, it wasn't my first time auditioning, so... You know, being and I never made it past the first round. You know, the other auditions. So it really was just a dream come true for me to make it as far as I did. Even you know, and you, you try going to that with no expectations and just you know have a be focused and have a vision in mind. And and you know, for where yeah, I think I'm, I did a great job, and I'm very proud of myself. You always want to win, right? Whatever. If you take the zero away from the ten, then I actually <laughs> made first. So <laughs> you know, it's like. I'm happy, <laughs> whatever. There are lots of ways to look at it. You know? You've had a few weeks off this show now. Have you been working or planning what you want to do beyond the tour, or has it all just been getting ready for the tour? Of course. Yeah, no, I have been getting ready for the tour. I've also been writing a whole bunch. So I'm trying to have a record out by next year, by this time. Um, but, you know, you want to know how the logistics are going to work out. So, um, you know, there's tour also between that, which ends in September. So I would also like, to go home, you know, back to Knoxville for just a little bit, and then, because um, I still haven't gone back yet, but I have been working a lot on, on an album, an up- upcoming album, so that should hopefully be out by around next year, this time, we'll see. How weird is it? I mean, you were in line, wanting to audition, then you make it through the one line of producers, the next line of producers, and the next thing, and the next challenge, and then you mm-hmm. get to the judges, and they send you through, and you get to Hollywood, and you make it through, you know, the whole thing that we followed you. It could have very easily said, hey, you know what? Thanks for coming out. And then you're back to your life in five minutes. But now it's all this. Like you said, you haven't been home in months. Yeah, I haven't been home. I haven't been back to Knoxville since last year when I had wrist surgery. So it's like, it, it is. It's crazy to think about. But at the same time, it's a huge blessing. Yeah, I, I remember going to the auditions the other years and being like, well, yeah, that kind of sucks. Got to go back to waiting tables. But yeah, this year everything's changed, and it's just phenomenal, and I couldn't be any happier, honestly. It's just a really amazing feeling to know that you're about to go on tour across the country and do what you love and make, you know, and, and make a living off of it. It's just a real, it's something that I've only dreamed of, and, and it's, a, it's a dream come true. Towards the end of your run on Idol, it seemed like the judges, I don't know, something was going on there, and they thought that you didn't know who you were as an artist. How did you Mm -hmm. take that? You can't really focus so much on the negatives of it. I tried to just keep moving forward and doing what I did because I felt the performance. And I'm really all about lyrics, and I do think too much about things. I I was looking into all the songs and thinking about how they applied to my life and how I could make them, you know, people get into them. And and I think I overthought it a lot. But... um, well, we were talking on the air that so much this year, even uh, it's always a big deal, but this year more than ever, it seems like song selection has been mainly what the judges have been concerned about. Yeah, and you know, I, I, I you know, it's interesting because I could have probably chosen something more current for that last week, but I wanted to do something that really means, you know, and that song that I chose made me cry. I mean, it was something that just it was like, what becomes of the brokenhearted? Like, well. Well, because I was brokenhearted for a long time, and I moved to L.A., and I, you know, you kept getting knocked down and, and brokenhearted again, and then things will just, I mean, you would, I almost went home. I was on the verge of leaving the city because it was so tough, and I didn't, 
you know, what becomes a broken heart is you make it onto American Idol. And <laughs> is right. You, you know, you kick butt and you do what you love and, and things will work out. And I just kind of wanted it to be an inspiration to people. And, you know, I got kicked off the show, but <laughs> whatever. You know? Yeah, but you're going on the tour. Get ready for deafening crowds. You're just not going to believe how much everybody loves you and, and is going to just scream as you do your thing. It's Two dates in Florida on August 3rd and 4th for American Idols Live. And there she is, Didi Banami. Yay!